If your goal is to really master AI engineering and get the results that you want, learning shouldn't be about finishing for the sake of finishing. So today we're going to dive more into like, sort of like strategies and avoiding those AI tutorial help. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're feeling a bit lost in the sea of tutorials, especially in AI and machine learning, you're probably not alone. Today we're going to dive into the secrets of simplifying AI learning and avoiding those AI tutorial help. Especially in AI and machine learning where countless online classes are popping up, there are so many videos, and finding the perfect one for you can be challenging. So shout out to everyone for the YouTube comments and the LinkedIn messages asking me to recommend tutorials for you. While I can't personally endorse every single tutorial out there, what I can do is to show you the skills to find the best tutorials for yourselves. So today we're going to dive more into like, sort of like the mindset and approach and strategies. If you are looking for specific recommendations on tutorials or projects, I've got another video where I show you how to create a custom step-by-step -step plan with resources and links. So watch that other video. I'll leave a link in the description. If you're new here, I'm Jane, your trusted engineering mentor. I've been coding now for over two decades and learning has always been a big part of my life. But before we dive into the magic of finding the best AI and machine learning tutorials, I do have a favor to ask. The best indicator that you're enjoying content like this for YouTube algorithm is a thumbs up. So please hit that like button. And with that, let's get into it. First tip is really simple. It is to quit tutorials. It is totally okay to quit in the middle of the tutorial, abandon it completely, or skip chapters, whatever you like. The whole pressure to finish a tutorial once you start can be paralyzing because then it feels like you need to pick the absolute best one. Learning shouldn't be about finishing for the sake of finishing. If a tutorial no longer serves your learning goals, it's totally okay to switch tracks. If you find one tutorial really boring, it doesn't mean that you will never learn that topic. It could just be the teacher or maybe you're not ready for it. So if you decide to skip a tutorial, it doesn't mean you will never finish it. But if you're struggling through a tutorial, it's probably not the right one for you at this time. And for tip number two is to not rush into tutorials. Before starting, check out the details like the video description or the speaker information or bio. Does the speaker have experience in the industry or the topic that they're talking about? If it's a YouTube series, look at the video titles on the playlist to understand what to expect and ask yourself if that sounds interesting. You can kind of think of this like watching a movie trailer. Most people watch the trailer before they commit to watching the full movie unless maybe it's by a producer you love or the, the cast that you love which would be like the speaker bio that I recommended that you check out. But you most likely watch the trailer because these steps give you like a sneak preview on what to expect. But here's the catch. Even if it does seem interesting, don't start right away. So it's kind of like watching multiple trailers before choosing which one to watch first. So take your time exploring all of your different options. And this philosophy ties into tip number three, which is to learn based on your goals and needs. So before diving into actually watching anything, first understand your goals. Are you trying to master a programming language to build a foundation? for machine learning like you need to learn Python or are you learning data structures because you want to ace that coding interview for fan companies or are you building a portfolio to add more keywords to your resume maybe you have multiple goals then you want to find different tutorials to serve each goal unless you find one that fits all of your goals but that's gonna be a little bit more challenging but anyways, setting clear goals help you customize how you learn and get the results that you want. If you don't know why you're learning, it's really hard to narrow down what to learn. That's why I also love building to learn 
If your goal is to really master AI engineering, tip number three is to learn to build. When real life engineers work, we're often asked to create things that we don't really know much about because technology changes fast and we're often working on the newest project with newest tech and there's no way to really master every single tech under the sun. And what we do is to set a goal for the projects and then search solutions by checking out tutorials or examples on websites or Stack Overflow or documentation. And this is a really effective way to learn by actually building things. So since in step two, you read all the tutorial descriptions, you know exactly what to expect, this will help you come up with your own project ideas. And then you can pinpoint the specific chapters or the sections of the tutorial that will teach you how to build the things that you need to build. And sometimes you may even want to learn from multiple sources to finish a project. You see how this all ties in together? But no matter what you're learning, please don't feel like you need to force yourself to learn, which is my tip number five, to learn what you love. One of my favorite quotes from Oprah is, passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. Learning doesn't have to mean struggling through painful tutorials. It should be enjoyable. And that's why I started with tip number two while you're reading the descriptions. See if you're interested. If you're watching a movie trailer, if you know it's a draft, you won't watch the movie. Also, maybe you think you're interested, but then when you actually start, you're not interested anymore. And that's why I also like to learn from multiple sources, which is tip number six. So sometimes you're just not in the mood for a certain type of tutorial. And personally, I often have two to three types of learning going on simultaneously. It could be tutorials or books. And this variety allows me to decide each day what I feel like exploring. To give you a better idea, I dedicate about one hour each day to learning something new. And sometimes I'm engaged with more reading and other times I'm watching tutorials or classes depending on where I am in life. So each day I check in with myself and go wherever the energy takes me. But if I were only focusing on one tutorial at a time, I would feel more friction thinking, I don't really feel like doing that today. So having alternative options help me always be engaged so I don't lose a habit of learning every day. Also, don't limit yourself to just online tutorials. There are lots of really great books on AI and machine learning. Some commonly recommended reads include things like hands-on machine learning or Python machine learning. So I'll link those books in the descriptions below so you can check them out if you're interested. Again, don't buy the book. Go to the Amazon link, read the description, and look at the outline before you jump in to getting the book. So, so far we've covered the tutorials. Don't jump into tutorials. Learn what you need, learn what you love, learn to build, learn from multiple sources. Before we dive into the next tip, if you found these tips helpful so far, please consider showing some love for the YouTube algorithm by hitting that like button. And now let's move on to the final tip. My last bonus tip is to learn with a group. Learning doesn't have to be a solitary struggle. Study groups are great online or in person. You get fresh perspectives from other people and a support system. So you can take turns sharing summaries from different videos, or you can share your progress and set milestones together and check in regularly with your study buddies. To do this, look for local or virtual meetups, or maybe if you're part of a school, post on school forums or ask your classmates, or you can join different types of Slack or Discord communities, or on Reddit, you can make a post to find like-minded people to form study groups related to AI and machine learning together. If you have a favorite learning community or a forum, please share it in the comments below. Now, if you want to explore what it would take to become an AI engineer, check out this video. Otherwise, this is the video that YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Thanks for watching and happy learning.